A Senate committee was told horror stories about local governments being shaken down by bad actors under the threat of a public records lawsuit. I defend state attorneys in ridiculous cases uh, where people uh, play gotcha. Both sides say the threatened lawsuits are indeed a shakedown by just a handful of people, but they've cost local governments tens of thousands of dollars. What they do is they make their request, a few days later they file their lawsuit, a few days after that they call the agency and say pay me $2,500 and I'll drop the lawsuit. The one-page legislation adds a five-day notice before a lawsuit can be filed and it changes the word shall to may when it comes to awarding legal fees. And I find that troubling that we're willing to change uh, the, the legal enforcement of a fundamental constitutional right uh, because of a, of a few jerks out there, quite frankly, who are, who are abusing the public trust. The League of Cities agreed to a less drastic change last year. From my member's perspective, they just want some of these abuses to stop. The bill narrowly passed 4-3. Advocates are hopeful that the close vote will open sponsors to a compromise. We can reach a compromise. We reached a compromise last year. But without a change in the bill's language, most agree fewer lawyers would be willing to take some cases. That would give governments a free pass to keep some records secret. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Masalinda. Three, two, one. In Tallahassee, Mike Masalinda, News Channel 8. Three, two, one. In Tallahassee, Mike Vasilinda, News Channel 7. Three, two, one. In Tallahassee, Mike Vasilinda, TV 20 News. Three, two, one. In Tallahassee, Mike Vasilinda, Channel 3 News. Three, two, one. Mike Vasilinda, WCTV Eyewitness News, Tallahassee. Three, two, one. In Tallahassee, Mike Vasilinda, NBC 2. Three, two, one. In Tallahassee, Mike Vasilinda, ABC 7. Three, two, one. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vasilinda, Channel 4, the local station.